Hello, second grade families. I'm going to be going through some special things regarding your son for your son or daughter as they make uh, the first confession and first communion uh, during this, this next day, uh, school year. So let's see here. So you're, the, the materials you're, you'll be picking up for your, 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 uh, your child on the, the pickup day, September, what is that, 6th, 8th, September 8th this year, from 5 to 7 p.m. Uh, you'll, they'll be picking up, they'll get a book, and they'll check this out. This will be returned at the end of the year. And then they'll get this packet for this book um, for each as the kind of the worksheets, for one, one for each chapter. Their name will be on here, so this is you can write on. Uh, the schedule, class schedule, is on here. This is also online. Then it goes into the spring and the fall and the spring and then the lessons. Um, and then on the back and uh, all the pa these packets, they're going to have prayers. So these are the uh, prayers that the second graders are to know. All right. So um, the sign of the cross, our Father, Hail Mary, glory be, guardian angel, uh, and then an act of contrition to know these by heart. All right. So to the act, there's, many, there's a number of different versions of that contrition. Uh, whatever your family uses or decides uh, to learn, uh, that's you know, there's, there's many options there. Um, but there's so when you this stuff uh, you'll you pick up in addition to a couple of other things. So there's this this sheet. This is also posted online. Uh, so uh, first of all, intendance is very important, especially you know every year, but especially for second sacramental years, uh, sacrament years. So uh, they're not to miss more than two sessions total. Uh, so in person under Zoom, essentially, if they miss more than two, they're missing more than a month essentially of class because they're in person one one week and then about once and uh, you know once maybe twice a month on Zoom. Uh, Zoom. So um, you know, if, if for some reason, just I'll reach out if more absentees are uh, show up. I'll reach out and see you know what's what's going on. How can we? Uh, remedy this one make sure that your son or daughter is well prepared for the sacraments um, uh, comp the next thing on here this this sheet um, which will you'll, it's online it'll also be uh, in your stuff to pick up on the pickup evening uh, September 8th complete first communion catechism answer booklet and turn and complete a booklet by Wednesday February 2nd 2000 oh. I'm going to have to fix that. That should be 2022. All right. Well, you will get an updated one. I'll update that. I'll make sure the one on the website is also that. There's <laughs> uh, only numbers to update each year as I do these. Um, but that refers to this is the Cures Catechism booklet. And so it goes through, uh, uh, and this is something your son or daughter can do on their own. You can do with them. Um, I do, I'll see if I'm able to have some time to make videos and stuff of the different lessons if they that's helpful um, but then the 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 booklet the, so there's here's the book the catechism book their name will be on this is there's the keep uh, here's the booklet essentially questions for and I'm going to have to read do this, this is upside down I'll make sure they're right side out it's always always printing problems um, but there are questions for the lessons um, and this doesn't all right it has the 11 lessons like Two, a couple questions per each of the lesson uh, in in there, um, and so this to turn this in at least by that's uh, there's an in person September second, and that's before our workshop. Um, so kind of just that they completed this, um, they've read through it, and they've answered the questions. Actually, most of the question the uh, questions in here are actually taken from the questions that are actually in the book. All right, but you can consider having is that right in the book? There's not a lot of room. Uh, you can just write write them in here, and this gets turned in. So I got the, the due date here, put, put your child's name here, and uh, they can turn it in. Um, and then the let's see here, memorize the Catholic prayers. So I had those; those are on the back of of this thing. There, there are the half a dozen prayers, and just practice. E if you practice, you know, each evening, yeah, you know, if your child doesn't know those prayers, they'll know them within a week or so. Uh, they soak up stuff like sponges. So when I try to learn a new prayer by, by heart, it, it takes, I got I to gotta do it like five times in a row for five days, and then then it sticks. You know, five five row, like right after the other. Anyways, um, so uh, the February, uh, and then below the list of required events. So uh, the workshop, 
First Sacraments Workshop is going to be here at St. Joseph's on February 26th. That's a Saturday from 9 to 11.30 a.m. Don't worry, there'll be a snack in the in between. Uh, within that, there'll be a little small little break. Um, but there'll be a short online video instruction watch before coming in, just kind of giving some ideas of what we'll be doing. Um, and then they'll come and, you know, hands-on prep, uh, touring the confessional, uh, and really just kind of preparing them uh, as, a, as a group for confession. And then at the end of, toward the end of the time, they'll be able to make their first confession. All right. And so um, they'll kind of um, yeah, make their first, con receive that sacrament that morning. Um, so please do get this on your calendar. It is also listed in the spring here. All right. So I got it. I listed at least a couple places. That down. If for some reason that doesn't work, let me know sooner than later. Don't have, don't let me know like a week before. Oh, that's not going to work because we planned something. But, but please, um, it's, this is before spring breaks and stuff uh, uh, and such in, in in March that schools have. So hopefully it's it's a good a good Saturday morning time. Um, all right. The and then the first communion at mass. So making the first communion and then additional communions after that coming to uh, telling the mass. Um, but here are the list of masses where your child can make his or her first communion next spring. So essentially, really it's two weekends, uh, April 30th and May 1st, or the 14th and 15th of May. One of those, either the Saturday evening or one of the Sunday morning masses between St. Joseph and St. Francis Xavier. So if you want to plan, and if you have if you have one, you want to, you know, if you set one up, and you're like, well, we're going to go with this one with my family, you can let me know. Otherwise, after the new year, I'll, uh, I'll contact you guys, uh, I'll contact probably in February or, you know, uh, at, the, at the workshop at, at latest of asking you know, around that time, what, what mass would you uh, like to choose? And I think there's, the numbers are low enough where there's not going to be a um, problem of pretty, pretty open your, so whatever works for, for your family, um, uh, we can get that. So if you have any other additional questions, please do uh, contact myself or Julie. Uh, here's the email. Uh, I hope you just have a great year of, of preparing for these first sacraments. God bless. One more thing, those with a son or daughter receiving a sacrament, this come, the spring part of our religious ed year, I do need baptismal information. I do have those that are baptized here at St. Joseph's or St. Francis Xavier, I have their information. Those that have, were not, I do probably do not have their information. So you, if you receive an email and it says, Father, you know, uh, I'll need this information about your son or daughter, you know, their full name, full middle name, date of birth, approximately when they were baptized, where at, uh, and then the names of the par parents, so first and last name, uh, and the mother's, mother's first name and her maiden name. That's how it's in the baptismal. If you get that information back to me, that's all you got to, and I, all myself and Julie will, will We'll get the actually get the certificates from the parishes uh, and such. Um, so just respond to that email. Make it all easy. If maybe, maybe you have to go a little digging of trying to you know if you, if you moved around and stuff of uh, where your son or daughter was baptized, but make that easy um, so that your son or daughter can be can be all ready to receive the sacraments next spring. Because I need that documentation uh, to prove that they they've been baptized uh, before I can. I mean, it's your first first communion or comp or the or for our confirmation. So those in either of those programs. God bless.